Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Podcast, a proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. TV's Butch Russell joins me as guest co-host. Titus Wayne watches porn on his phone for the whole hour, and newcomer Christian Kretzer tries to teach me his name. I've forgotten it already. If you enjoy the show, like and follow the Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter, or tune in live on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. Overwhelms me. A brutal presence. All right, it is time for another live radio show. I uh, hope you stick around from uh, uh, Patrick's show that just just headed out of here. Raider up. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And I won markers, so that makes it even better. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> little rush though getting everything together uh my guests are already in the studio my guest co-host for the week is sitting over there reading like he's on the toilet uh but butch russell is is in the studio wake up butch <clears throat> hi don <laughs> how you doing all right all right how's how have you been i've been i've been good good been busy busy um traveling back and forth to chicago so uh yeah we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll get to chicago yeah, we'll, in a we'll bit, get into that but yeah uh, it's keeping me busy let's put it that way that's good to hear. It's it's always good to keep busy. Uh, my next guest, I forgot his name like fifteen times. Uh, Christian Kretzer. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> I yeah. remembered that time. Yeah, I did. Correct. Yeah. After what <laughs> four times you told me? Yeah, so you can like say that, pretzel too. Like. That's like okay. They, they think it sounds like pretzel. I've never. Is there a Christian pretzel? I've, I've never had a Christian. I'm gonna have pretzel. to get on Facebook yeah. and give it. It's a, in the shape a of a cross. cross. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. that's what I was thinking. Right, Just, right. Uh, yeah, bake, bake good pretzel. cross. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was something going on here. I knew there was something that they have that they had the cue on, on this other. I tell you, every time I turn around, that darn cue. Titus Wayne, hi, is also in the studio with us again. Thanks for having me, Don. Yeah, this you hadn't. This show's been going on for almost four years now. You had never been on before until like three weeks ago, and, and now, now yeah. you're back already. Before even a month, it's 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 good to have you. Me, you yeah, it's him? good to be here. No, oh, no, I'm not oh. paying you either, Butch. In case you were wondering. Uh, right, I'm not getting any money. You guys are I don't know what you're talking water. about. We get free water. Yeah, free water, and yeah. you didn't even take it, so you missed your opportunity. I don't know what you put in there. I we got the two hours. Of, we got two hours of show to do. Yeah, and you have no water. You're going to run out of your vitamin water. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's and very good. And you're not going to have anything That's to take your Geritol with. Yeah. How many vitamins are in that water? <laughs> I'm sorry. How many vitamins does it actually have? Three hundred ninety-two thousand. It says. Oh wow! It's, so it's got to be true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Are there that many vitamins in the world? Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. So tell me about Chicago. You you got you got your big acting break in Black Mamba. Yeah. And now, yeah. <laughs> and that, now you're out in Chicago <laughs> doing big things. Yeah, so. um, it's crazy, man. It's all, all out of the blue. They called me from um, Chicago Med to go up last Thursday. Uh, to shoot and sat in a chair for five hours and didn't do anything. So, awesome. Well, yeah, that's, hey, that, yeah, that is, that is acting life easy. right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. But they, <laughs> they pay pretty hefty. So well, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's all good. that matters. That's, so, yeah. but they did call me when I got home next day and said, Hey, we want to make it up. Can you come up, come back next week for Chicago fire? So I said, yeah, sure. You know, okay. So I'm gonna play a doctor. And, Do- doctor, yeah, and doctor I hope they don't Bush. give me a whole bunch of these medical words. Cause, cause uh, yeah, I, 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 gynecology and all that. That's the only word I know in medical field. That's so. the important one, though. Right, right. Exactly. I mean, yeah, yeah. if you're going to play a doctor, even if they don't give you any direction, you play a gynecologist. Sure. That's, that's just the way it uh, works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Plus, you're like a you're like a dead ringer for Bob Kelso from Scrubs. Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that, that's good that, or bad. <laughs> no, it's good. It's, it's a great that, character. I didn't even think of that. That's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you won't. You won't see me. I'll be in scrubs and a mask and all that stuff. But you know, it doesn't matter. That's hey, as long, gotta as, start long as, somewhere. You, yeah, as long as you're on there, that's got to start somewhere. So yeah, it's so, been it's a, always good. It's been a, a a wild adventure. Let me say, having a flat tire in Chicago at 9:30 on a Wednesday night is downtown a, Chicago. Very yeah, it's oh it's nice. A, it's nice. A, it's a very adventurous time, especially when you stop and ask people for directions. And That's, after about yeah, the fourth or yeah. fifth one, you realize they're all lying to you because you're just going around in circles. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, kind of, well, yeah. kind of like kind of like the scene from uh, 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 Vacation, National Lampoon's yeah. Vacation, oh, yeah. where the, but that that yeah. was in Missouri, I think they stopped in St. Louis. Oh, okay, and yeah. got got off the interstate. Misery. 
Misery. Yeah. Over in Misery. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty close. It's it's an aptly named state. <laughs> 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 kind of like Iowa. The Iowa. What? <laughs> I don't know. That just that's they just very confused out there. Right. Well, it, it, lack of stimulation is probably not good for the brain. Yeah. And too much corn. Yeah, yeah, that's also really bad for you. <laughs> corn, corn, oh, butch, oh, okay. corn, Because <laughs> they're mined out of the gutter, but there's too much porn everywhere. Mm. Well, yeah, you don't I'm have to be in, in yeah. Iowa or uh, right. any of those places. You, right. to, you can to, just be on my yeah. phone right now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's what ti- you can just be sitting behind Tide at Titus and looking over his shoulder. Yeah. Why didn't he sit closer to me over here? We can watch together. I I don't know. You guys stuck me over here in the yeah. smell corner or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I didn't think I stunk that bad. <laughs> Well, we knew you wanted your alone time. Oh, so yeah. it's you and your phone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christian, are you uncomfortable yet? Are you? Uh, no, no. You're, I, you're good. You're good. No, I listened to uh, when I talked to. You, I listened to last week's episode where you had Nick and and all them on, so just to have an idea. My buddy, what you were in for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, how long have you been doing uh, stand up comedy? All about. Two weeks, three weeks now. Titus was there my first night. Oh, wow. Well, so yeah, I remember him. Newbie. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm there yeah. every awesome. night at yeah. Wiley's, yeah. pretty much. I, <laughs> you're, you're there yeah. more often than I am, and I own the place. I, yeah, so. I think so. <laughs> but, well, welcome to the show, and Thank welcome you. to comedy. Boy, have you made two big mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've only done the two shows. One at Wiley's went well. I think I was a little... I had too many friends there, so... Might have been a little biased yeah, with yeah. that. Well, it's, it's then, a, a club is different. Yeah, when, did, did, when you, you, when you start bar doing it, none time? of your friends are there. That's that's when I'm you get, get the better. feeling motions. Yeah, <laughs> better. Right, right. Yeah. Where yeah. was your second show at? Uh, was it Hookah Bazaar. <laughs> like, <the> Thursday, <laughs> which that was gotcha. That <laughs> was about everybody there. Was yep. just it was. That's where yeah. I started, actually. That was you my started uh, at Hookah. Yep. Wow. Uh, Mike Kalinsky, who's now in Cincinnati, told me about it when I like I just met him at a bar in Dayton. So how how long have you been? Two years and okay. four months now. Because that was back when uh, Joe Young was running. Too, yeah. Wasn't it? yeah, yeah. It's it's changed hands more than yeah. my ex girlfriend. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And Nick Taylor's got it now. Yep. The, the Hookah Bazaar, not your ex girlfriend. Or I mean, <laughs> well, you, I don't whatever well, you gets them know. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. That's true. <laughs> So what? What? How bad? How big of a difference was it? Because I mean, Wiley's uh, Wiley's for Sunday comics can be a very forgiving crowd. Well, they really can, and that's that's yeah. a club show because I my first set ever was actually at uh, Dayton Funny Bone back when they had, knew what a local comic was. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then my second set was at Wiley's, and both of those went great. I thought, man, I'm pretty good at this. And then I did a set at the now defunct uh, chapter bar. The bar is oh. defunct, but the open mic is in Fairborn, and that was Dale a, used that to run that, right? Sobering experience. Yes, yeah. That was so. Yeah, I yeah. know where you're coming from. You yeah, is this a pin yeah. drop show? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you you could hear things. Wait, yeah. One thing I heard was, <laughs> "God, this is awful." <laughs> It's always a good sign when you can hear chairs squeaking louder than the the laugh. Yes, or... yes, that's a. <laughs> but I, I've done. I think I did hookah once or twice yeah. too. So yeah, yeah. It, which it was a fun show from time to time. I mean, it's it's like any any bar show. You'll you can have good ones. You can have really bad ones at the same place. Yeah, and the same night. <laughs> I went out there once, and there was nobody there except for I guess patrons sucking on these snake things. And it's like, ooh. The hookahs. They're called. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's this thing, the place he, for me. Well, he just thinks about snu- sucking on the snake thing. Sucking on the snake well, thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I tell my boyfriend. Hey, what do you want to yeah. do, you know? It's that oral fixation. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> You'll have that. So yeah. what are your thoughts so far uh, from doing two sets, one? See, well, I've acted a little, and that was that. That was that's it's it's two different now, things. Are, are we talking theater? No, not theater. No, I think oh, theaters. Okay. Theaters. I think theater. amateur porn. Yeah, theaters rough. Oh. I couldn't. I couldn't do theater. Uh, that's that's where I started. Was really? That's. Yeah. I think that's I like. I love it. Yeah, I think hard. theater and stand up. If you're good at it, that's like the upper. I think that's like your, the top. See, I, of I was. Performing. Uh, that's actually how I got started in stand up. Is I used to do theater, and it got to the point where I didn't have the because theater is a huge commitment. Yeah. You know, that's months out of your life that yeah. you're in rehearsals, you're on stage, you're performing, you're the whole thing. Yeah. And I didn't have time to commit to that. Yeah. 
So I started doing stand up to still get that that little that fix. Then you only have to do five minutes, fix. and then you only have to do five minutes. And it's to me, stand up is way more frightening. It's like the crack theater. cocaine of performance art. Yes, yeah. yes. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because it's just you up there. Yeah, it's just you. you no the, props. Yeah. No other. Con- no other. You know. Yeah. Which would be fun. Bring all the comics up at once. Oh yeah. And, <laughs> And then just fight to the death, and yes, the last one yes. standing wins. Yes. Well, I think they, they, they made a show set. like that, didn't they? Oh. Only without the fighting. E- last comic standing. Oh. That should have that should have been what it was. Right. They have, like, comedy American gladiators. Yeah. And that's... <laughs> just, they just, just watch yeah. Chris Farley beat the crap out of everyone. Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I miss him. Me too. <laughs> so, where were we? Uh. <laughs> That guy, uh, I had asked you what what you thought of the whole. Yeah, thing it's here. it's okay. I I didn't keep my same performance that I did that went over a little better at Wiley's when I went to Hookah Bazaar only four days later. That could have been my problem. I don't know. wasn't quite sure, but uh, haven't performed since then. Uh, but I, I will be at Wiley's again Sunday. Hopefully, that goes better. Are you recording your sets when you do them, or having somebody? Record you, you should them? you should come out to Comedy Fight Club tomorrow. Oh, there tomorrow, you where's go. that there at? There you go. That's uh, Ohio, Ohio Chiefs, Chiefs yeah. eleven twenty four Leo Street. Okay. Yeah, because I have I somebody posted in the uh, the Dayton Comics page like all the weekly ones. Yeah, and I've been yeah, meaning, the, I've been meaning uh, to get to Dusty Harvey. Dusty keeps Harvey track of that. Yeah, yeah, I've been meaning to get to at least all of them. Yeah, so I, I I have not made it to. Uh, fight club yet and i just i have so many things going on wednesday is when i actually edit all this stuff comedy fight club uh, can be really fun or the most gut-wrenching well, terrifying experience well, on a mic i would say that's the would premise be of the comedy fight, fight club yeah. yeah we he's he's got uh, nate washington the guy that runs it he's got a wheel and it's got different topics on the wheel and so you spin it and like so you'll have something like uh they'll play a, a cricket noises in in the background while you're doing your set or you might have to face the wall during your set or you might have to sing your set <laughs> or yeah that's yeah funny. That's... or uh the the, uh, the first one that i did i got uh project mayhem which was they he gave the audience a list of words and if I said any of those words during the set, it was like Pee Wee Herman style. Everybody had to just yell and, and make as much noise and interact. Uh, right, right. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a blast. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have to get there sometime. Darn, I will. And, and they have <laughs> really good food and a good bar staff and a basketball hoop there, too. So. Oh, cool. Okay. There you go. Cool. So like you said they got food? Just play yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, 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 I play a little basketball. I can uh, yeah, there you yeah, go. That's yeah. your whole set right there. Just. Yeah, just don't talk. Just, just now. Now warm you said up. you you did two different sets. You did one yeah. set at Wiley's. It completely different sets. Yeah, not even one. Okay, part was because that, that that goes against all the conventional wisdom. I I know. Well, and I've I've heard that so many. Just solid five. Work. Yeah. I couldn't do it either. My, <laughs> I did the the set at uh, Funny Bone set at Wiley's. They were both the same. When I went to uh, Chapter. All new stuff. Yeah. Now I will do that. I've been doing it for uh, over four years, about four and a half years now, and I will still every now and then I will scrap everything and I will do a completely brand new yeah. set. In fact, I think the last two times I was up at Wiley's was pretty much completely brand new. Yeah. You, so you really, I think you have to do that, though. I mean, you, just to me, it, that's the fun of it, you right? Know, is is trying new, yeah, stuff. new stuff, and that, not to mention, there's nothing worse than somebody who doesn't write new stuff and you just had you for the for years they just right. go up and tell the same jokes over and over again it's and i i know some traveling <clears throat> excuse me some some guys that people that come in into wiley some comments come into wiley's they do this i've seen her set over and over it's the same 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 set i'm know? sure it's great for the road because right. you're, yeah. you don't right, have the right, same crowd, people right. coming to see you every exactly. night but yeah. i mean yeah, like if you're doing the same set for years and years and years just locally right you're yeah that's you're yeah. kind of a hack yeah <laughs> yeah yeah writing's hard though it's hard yeah it, it, i can't i can't I, uh, I was in bloomington i saw mark mayor an hour and 45 minutes is how long crazy, he was up yeah. there and i was like how what's the preparation to to do an hour and 45 minutes i mean that it's, years and years yeah, and years of writing a lot of talking and memorization home, yeah <laughs> see just, just this is this is just in one day I, I haven't written anything this is just random thoughts that i have this is my writing process i have I want my first one i used to think i was very decisive i'm not so sure anymore 
Uh, I would rather die in an avalanche than in a Bruce Valanche, but then unfortunately, no, <laughs> unfortunately, no, most people don't know who Bruce Valanche is. Anymore. That is unfortunate, but it would be, <laughs> I, I get it. it. It would be a terrible place to die. Yes. Inside uh, of Bruce Valanche would be. Yeah. Yes. If you don't like one liners, you should buy more cocaine next time. Just weird stuff like this. You know, there's nothing more embarrassing than walking in on somebody while you're masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Just weird that is things. Very I, that happened to me once. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. You walked on somebody yeah. in on yeah. somebody and, and else. And I'm banned while you from were McDonald's. Yeah, I can't that's... never go back to McDonald's. So. <laughs> See, that's and that's just weird stuff that pops into my head. Yeah. I hardly ever do one liners, so that you know. They're it's... I don't know, they're hard. I've been writing a lot more kind of like lengthier, you know, piecing things together to make a Dude, Michael not Shay. Michael Wells. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He got. He fires them off like he's, he's like the king awesome. of one liners. Yeah, he, he is. Yeah. Yep. Now Bri- yep. Bridget, Bridget Denman does some good. Uh, the, no, she is too. Yeah. I, I love Bridget. Have you told her that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it right it? now over the radio, <laughs> Bridget. Yeah. If you're listening, yep. is that a ring, Titus? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he's on one knee. Oh. What to get here? Brid- yeah, come down to the studio, Bridget. <laughs> He's on both knees. He looks like he's gone for Butch instead. <laughs> <laughs> I have very, terrible. very low standards, and I'm very hey, thanks, impatient. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot. That's funny. All right. <laughs> I'm going to cue up a song because it's, it's just about time for, uh, let me find a song first. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm finding can, a song. I can sing. <clears throat> uh, I'll Please find, find I'll a song. I'll find a song. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get some Potter's Field queued up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the uh, comedy rundown for the week, and then I'm going to play a little Potter's Field, and we'll take a break. Uh, here's this week's comedy rundown, brought to you by the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in Dayton's historic Oregon district. Call 224-JOKE or go to Wiley'sComedy.com for all the best in Dayton comedy. Wednesday, September 5th, Comedy Fight Club with Nate Washington at Ohio... Uh, 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 that'll get it. At Ohio Chiefs at 1124 North Leo Street in Dayton. That show starts at 9 p.m., Thursday, September 6th, open mic at the Hookah Bazaar at 958 Patterson Road in Dayton. That show starts at 10 p.m. Sign up start at 930 if you want some stage time. Uh, Thursday through Sunday, September 6th through the 9th, Gary Owen is going to be at the Dayton Funny Bone at 88 Plum Street at the Green. Uh, Friday, September 7th, Transcon Variety Tour with Lisk Victory and Chris Mohan is going to be at South Park Tavern at 1301 Wayne Avenue. Saturday, September 8th, Josh Cox is going to be at Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in the Oregon District. Did you like how and I that emphasized that? And that is his last that? name, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't <laughs> making any character judgments. Uh, Sunday, September 9th, Wiley's Sunday Comics is back at Wiley's Comedy Club. Get out and see your favorite locals and your latest newcomers. Uh, that is it. As always, check out Wiley'sComedy.com and DaytonFunnyBone.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows. And don't forget to show some love on Monday nights to shows we have at Hannah's at 121 North Ludlow Street in Dayton and the open mic at Ollie's at 518 Miamisburg Centerville Road. Eventually, I'm going to get to where I can do all that in one breath. That and would be I'll really pass cool. That would be awesome. And, yeah, there will be nothing left of the show I can do at that point. That's actually the last four years that has been all I've been trying to do. And as soon as I get that, I'm going to cancel the show and just hang we'll it up. We'll be impressed. Up, be... And, exactly. Because yeah. there's, there's, that's, that's there's their... nowhere I can go from That's there. what they're tuning in for now. Is they're like, is exactly. he going to get it in one yeah, breath? Is he going to get it? Yep. He passed out. Fat guy didn't make it. All right. <laughs> all, <laughs> all, right. all he had to do was say, all he's, he's at the last yeah, one. He so close. He's so that close. man lived and died on the radio. <laughs> 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 all right. Here's a little Potter's Field, a little uh, hindsight hell. Speaking of four years on the radio. And we'll be back here shortly. <laughs>
move over Jimmy Kimmel, step aside Conan O'Brien, back off Stephen Colbert, it's my turn. I'm Mike Shea, and every Tuesday on my show, Mike Talks Funny, I sit down and talk with comedians, actors, film fans, podcasters, anybody willing to get down, get deep, and get dirty. I don't remember the first time I had sex. That was horrible. <laughs> I didn't even finish the first time I had sex. I tasted what most comics want, and now I have to go back and eat leftovers. You're so brave for wearing that shade of lipstick on stage. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Think of last comic standing and... Mystery Science Theater 3000 had a baby, and that's the show. My online doppelganger is also a, a larger black man. He is uh, Adrian Miller. All the top results are he's a professor. Interviews with great people, not to mention all kinds of awesome new music every show. Hey, this is Don Smith. This is Scotty Mays. Hey, this is Kevin Goatee with Comics Watching Comics. Brought to you by Eventide Entertainment. Hi, man, this is Donnie Baker at Wiley's Comedy Club, and you're listening to WWSU 106.9. Swear to God. All right, we're back on the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, in case you missed the last half hour and you don't know who I am in case you missed the last four years. (laughs) Uh, My my guest uh, co-host, Butch Russell, is sitting in there. Good morning, good morning. That's it. It, Yeah, we, we all... we should have woke him up earlier. <laughs> uh, Christian Kretzner. Kretzer. Yeah, Kretzer. Kretzer. No N. No, I'm going to no. get it right yeah. as soon as you leave. Yeah, I bet <laughs> as soon as the show's over. It'll do, it'll do, you'll be yeah. like, almost fall asleep. Kretzer. Oh, yep. it was, it was Kretzer. No, I, I won't think about you. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Titus Wayne is, is sitting off to the side here. Hello uh, again. The one and only. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but how's your how's your internet porn search going? Oh, it's going pretty well. Good. Okay, that's good. I'm I've, I've, I'm just about finished. So okay, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, watching porn or yep. Well, well, oh, okay. Yeah. So you want to get him? You want to get him some no, Kleenex or something? No, no. Maybe a moist towelette. You got one of those? No, I, I just normally use my sock. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we before before we ran off? Just pretty. You much were talking the, to him uh, about his sets. Okay. okay. S E T S. Yes. Yes. Sets. Yeah. Sets. Yeah. So we're done with that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Moving couldn't, on. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> so, Titus, you said you've been doing about a little over two years now. Yeah. Did, have I asked you why you started that? Or, uh, yeah, uh, we. Just, uh, yeah, we discussed it last time. I All mean, right. we can we can we, reiterate. We can revisit. I didn't uh, revisit. Why? Well, I, I, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't ask I didn't Christian why he decided to get into this uh, Ooh. painful, painful uh, dilemma. I just. Well, my friend Emily really wanted to do it, she but she wouldn't go alone. So I was like, I'll, so did, I'll did give she it a do shot. it? Did yeah, she? she did. She did. She was the same okay. night that I was. She did, and then I don't know if she's done it since. But so you got to be her moral support. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'll do it myself. And I was like, I was half bad. So you went up first, yeah. then she went up. No, I actually, I she went up before me. I don't know why, but she ended up going up before me, and I ended up going because it's random after. order. So yeah, yeah. Sort of, sort of random, sort of yeah. not. Yeah. So. Yeah. How did she do? Good. Good. I, <laughs> fine. I mean, they don't see that yeah. on radio. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like that. It's funny. Okay, okay. She performed it to me. We were. She moved to uh, Athens to go to OU the night before, and she was she was like saying all the jokes to me in the car, but wasn't telling me that was what she was going to do. So when she went up on stage the next day, I was like, I heard all this yesterday in the car. Oh, so she was she was testing material out. In <laughs> yeah, the drive. but and, but it wasn't like, it was just like jokes like at different times throughout the car ride. I was like, oh, yeah. And then when she performed it the next day, I was like, oh, that's what you were doing. Did you laugh so, at it? Yeah. Uh, in the car ride, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Right, because it's inappropriate. Yeah. It's inappropriate to slip your material in in the middle of an actual conversation. Yeah, it, yeah. Because even on here, I, I don't like when people do material. I mean, I, no. I read some of that stuff because it was random weird thoughts. But, uh, yeah. you know, if you, you you can tell on the radio if somebody's trying, trying to trying do to, like, material. Push their, and that yeah. just, it, it usually doesn't work that well. Yeah, it's it's meant to be on stage. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. it, that's the only place it feels somewhat fluid. Yeah, now, unless a joke comes up spontaneously, which you yeah. haven't written yet. Yeah. yeah. It's not natural to the conversation. Now I've been in conversations where I've said something, and be like, "Hold on, I'm writing that down." <laughs> that's that's about every Sunday at Wiley's. Yeah, Com- pretty much. We, we, I get a lot out of those comic hangs. That's good. What, that's what good. is that? I I see that. Uh, the we comic just hangs. It, we uh we have basically like a a writing collaborative 
what would you call that? Just a uh, just, little just salon. Tank, yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. 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 There, there, there's, yeah. There's, there's no pressure. There's not yeah. the, you come in with material and we grade and it's nothing yeah. like that. Just you spitballing. Just, yeah. You come in, it's like, well, I'm, we've been working on this new one. And then you get some feedback and, you know, try, if you're trying to figure out what direction to take it, you know, and it's. And Don always brings Doritos and Oreos. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's. Right. Not always, not always. Some sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's, it's barbecued potato chips and, uh, but it, and but, but uh, the soft, food nonetheless. Yes, snacks yes, are yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. sna- <laughs> snacks, soda, you know, yeah. whatever. That just uh, you got to keep the comics happy. Yeah. yeah. Till they're on stage, and then you make them miserable. <laughs> or on a radio. Or show. on a radio yeah. show. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, I, I just give you water here, so I try to keep <laughs> yeah. you as miserable as possible. <laughs> See, I was going to bring beer, but you know. You know I was going to be here. That's why yeah, I knew. Yeah, yeah, I'd run out. No, I, I need the water. I, I, oh yeah, between yeah. me and Butch, we could probably uh, three put them cans away. tops. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you drink out of big cans, don't you? Yeah, I do. Right. Tall boys. Tall, tall boys. All right. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna we're gonna hit some news stories. News, it's, it's, I like it's getting about uh, about twenty minutes to the end of the to the end of this uh, hour. It's, it flies Time by. Flies it it flies really by. does. Yeah, That's, absolutely. Wow. A missing contact lens isn't something you should turn a blind eye toward. Uh, case in point: a forty-two-year-old woman in Great Bit- Britain. Great Britain. Great. Either way, either way. Once Great Britain, twice shy, something <laughs> like that. A 42-year-old woman in Great Britain. See, it's not just your name I'm screwing up. Uh, Great Britain. It's, it's been been around for hundreds of years. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, a 42-year-old woman in Great Britain who lost a lens when she was a teen, only to have doctors discover it embedded in her eye 28 years later. According to the medical journal, journal BMJ Case Reports, the patient went to the doctor after, after she discovered a pea-sized lump below her left eyebrow. The cyst was visible on an MRI and caused the woman's left eyelid to droop. When doctors went to remove the cyst, they discovered a rigid contact lens that somehow migrated into the eyelid. At first, the woman couldn't recall how the contact got stuck in her peepers, and her mom remembered the patient losing a lens during a badminton game when she was just 14 years old. Yeah. (laughs) That was amazing, Don. Badminton. Badminton. probably not even the right prescription anymore. That's a shame. Oh, yeah, that is a shame probably been fitted for so many others at that time and they didn't realize all she had to do was blink i i really like hate to meet this like the the level of personal care and hygiene <laughs> that this lady yeah, has yeah. like what else is yeah. like falling in or out of her that she's just kind of left yeah. and yeah or got yeah gotten stuck in her that she's just ignored for 28 years oh yeah i i thought i had a kid <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, well, well, you, great bitten yeah, great bitten. Yeah, it, well, you don't go to check on things until it becomes a cyst. Then it's then it's a problem. Yeah, until that you you know you don't need that pencil that bad, I guess. Well, or, I, what, or whatever. No, I I, I I was gonna say it's probably because I mean they have universal health care in Great Britain, so I would like why why would you like it's not like yeah, here where you have to take yeah. out two loans and a mortgage right. to to go to the doctor. Did she right. did she think it like fell out during the game or did did she? Like no, like oh, it's, I'd, I'd it's imagine somewhere she, in there. Yeah, I'd it's imagine somewhere she in there. thought it fell out. I don't, I, I don't think it, it. She might. She might have had the lens. She might have thought the lens was on the on the uh, on the shuttle cock. I've heard yeah. people falling asleep and it go, roll back in their eye. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. happens. Yeah, and eventually you gotta I stay get, away from yeah, contacts. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how they really work. I don't. I've never. You you basically stick them on your eye. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stick <laughs> them on your yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't <laughs> know how they could like move around. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because you can stick your finger on, them and it's, Ooh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's weird. They're creepy. Yeah. I'll I'll wear them every now and then if I'm doing film, if I'm doing a film film shoot, or if I'm on stage. That's because I I wouldn't wear them for a long time because I don't right. like you, the you idea. You didn't have glasses on, them, Mom, but did yeah, you? yeah, yeah. You had contacts in. Okay, yep. I remember now, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't like the idea of just getting up every morning and sticking my finger in my eye. To me, it it just seemed you know kind of counterproductive as a way to start your day. And I'm awake. Oh, that's perfect. I thought I always thought that was a bad idea, but what happened was I started doing theater in my mid twenties, and I was stumbling around on stage because I couldn't wear my glasses and I couldn't see a thing, so I had to get them, and I still hate them. Yeah. But, Did you do theater here at Wright State? No. Oh, okay. I like the ones that change your eye colors. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I, li- I like the ones that Those we are had. Bad yeah, for we you. we had some are really bad. we had some really cool ones in Black Mamba that some of yeah, the demons uh, were Jeff, wearing. That, yeah, Jeff, the, oh, uh, yeah, the guy was, with the, yeah. yeah, yeah, he was wicked looking man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they were pretty cool. More, more news, more, more news. We we've got plenty. This is this is a fresh day of fresh news stories. Wow, just I I got them all last night. Like last night, hot off the press. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, chess players showed off their skills as well as their lung capacities as the World Dive Chess Championships in London. Uh, the underwater chess tournament, which took place Saturday in London, features players taking turns diving underwater to make their moves on a chess, bur- chess board submerged in a pool. They'd have to weight them down somehow because the plastic yeah, pieces. Say, yeah, okay. they, I, yeah, I, <laughs> yep, I did, did do put it there. Uh, the rules require a player to make a move before coming up for air, and the next player must go underwater until they have made a response move. Organizers said the aquatic twist makes the ancient game of chess more challenging and faster paced. I bet it would be. Yeah, if I'd they really wanted that. a challenge, they should try Operation. <laughs> underwater? <laughs> underwater? Yeah. Water? That would be fun. Yeah. Also yeah. called Don't yeah. Get Electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, you'll know when you touch the sides on that one. <laughs> If they really wanted it more challenging, they were, there would be something else in the pool with them. Yeah, like some piranhas. Like or... some, well, that that would be over too quickly. Then. Well, uh, you know, maybe like yeah, a Labrador yeah, retriever. A shark, would, shark wouldn't work. Jellyfish. There you go. Jellyfish and uh, just sting yeah. them and numb them, and it'd be, there you it'd go. be yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hard because I mean it's already hard because and it'd be yeah, because hard most to of the time you're them, looking yeah. at the board. When you're when you're playing chess, you're looking at the board the whole time. Right, you're not going to notice thinking, these stinging tentacles yeah. coming across so when your you, neck. When you go down, you're. Yeah. I could probably hold my breath it, for twenty seconds, maybe. That's what I, I was saying. saying. Yeah, right. you got to hold your breath, and make a move, or right I until can. you get stung by yeah, a jellyfish, right, right, and yeah. then I, I guess, yeah. that gives somebody who maybe has <laughs> any sort of uh, aquatic experience a little edge over the other guy. And yeah. He could be a better yeah. chess player, but no, I know so. Like, is no is it true you can neutralize the jellyfish sting by peeing on it? I don't know. No, Let's go get a jellyfish. Not. No, no. I, I've, I, that's yeah, that's an old thing I've yeah, heard. They, that they, uh, there was a lifeguard show on TV. I was watching one Sunday morning, and the lifeguard. This was live, well, recorded live, whatever. It was one of oh, the reality yeah, type yeah. things, yeah. and the little girl got stung, and, and guy was peeing lying. on it. <laughs> and the guy says, "Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> that, all you're doing is infecting that. That's yeah. waste going on us anyway." Yeah, yeah, that's even if you drank, had your vitamins. Still right, right. It, it was yeah. just an elaborate prank by a lifeguard that was really in the golden shower. Yes, yep. Yep. yes, that's yep. what it was. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. I got stung again. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> Man, every day this happens to me. I am the unluckiest. Oh, happened again. Oh, I am the wait, unluckiest lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, from from the lifeguard seat up there way up above that's it's where he's got it in a little tank right next to him (laughs) the jellyfish right right well or the pee i guess either way either way it'd be it'd be creepy it comes out of a little bag on the side of his hip there yeah Uh, well you know yeah yeah, that was (laughs) (laughs) a man was taken into custody at los angeles international airport monday after he jumped a fence ran onto the runway and did push-ups According to police, uh, the man who has not yet been identified was spotted by an airport police officer just after 1.30 p.m. local time. A spokesman for the Los Angeles Police, Los Angeles Airport Police, confirmed to Fox News. <laughs> Fox News. <laughs> Those Gotta CrossFit true, guys are nuts. 100% true. Yeah. 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 He was taken into custody within two minutes after being spotted on the runway. Uh, police said the airfield the man tra- tra- was, the airfield the man traveled to, as well as a near- nearby aircraft, underwent a security sweep, and the airfield was closed for roughly 20 minutes. Uh, the man is being held by authorities as they investigate the situation. Just why not join a gym? It's it, In the long run, it would be much cheaper for him to have just joined a gym. He just wasn't thinking, Don. And Some people don't put, think like you. you know? that's, that's was he true. trying to take off? You don't have to off? do that at home. There's no special place you have to go to do push-ups. You can just... That's true. That's true. Hop yeah, down you right don't in your need, living yeah. room and yeah. bust them out if you want. Right. I mean, yeah. You don't not... have to hop. Maybe he, it, he just didn't. He wanted to hop the fence too. That's all part of his yeah. regiment, and he didn't have. There didn't might be have a, video. a fence high enough at the house. There has to be a video come out later. Does it be like a thought he was cool kind of prank or something? Because that just yeah. Why would you do that? There doesn't seem any reason. Just be like, yeah, my 
go do some push-ups and just yep. run out there. on the like, tarmac. Real reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dare you. Here, buddy, hold my beer. <laughs> that's that's what oh, it was. There, all there. right. Yeah. He's he, like, he was in the airport bar for way too long. Yep, His yep. flight was delayed. Don't dare me to do yep. that again. He was like, yep. I'm not the double dog. He said, all right, all right. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> if, it didn't even get to triple dog. Yeah, yeah. It was he, just the double yeah, dog. Yeah, he, he was the done. double. He was yeah. like, all right. That's... Yeah, but I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? He said, how much you, I'll give you 20 bucks. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't think how much bail would end up being. Right, right. Yeah, that's, Stupid yeah. people. That, that happens. That happens. Yeah. When you, you know, when you, when you've had too much to drink, you never know what you're going to be. You can be dared to do just about anything mm-hmm. at that point. Yeah. yeah. Like even stand up comedy. Somebody, you know, you could be dared to do stand up comedy when you're drunk. I think there's a couple wedding chapels in Las Vegas that are pretty much predicated on that. Idea. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. They, maybe that was his choice: either get married or jump on the runway and do push-ups. He's like, I'm on the runway. Yeah. <laughs> Smart man. Yep, exactly. That's that was. He made a he made a good call. A Tallahassee, Florida <laughs> man. Uh, good segue. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah. It's well, it's Tallahassee. So it, it's Florida. Florida news is always my favorite. Anyway. A Tallahassee, a Tallahassee, 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 Florida man uh, demanded more than just cash when he allegedly attempted to rob a Krispy Kreme in Gainesville on Friday. According to police, he also asked for some donuts because why not? He's in a Krispy Kreme. Uh, the suspected robber identified as Sawatu A. Wright, uh, one of the Wright brothers, Yeah, uh, 45, uh, by, 45 years old, and he decided that he had to have donuts too. That's... You reach a certain age, you got to watch your sugar intake a little, a little oh, more closely. Yeah. What age is that? You've passed it already. Oh, <laughs> Trust me. Uh, <laughs> uh, he allegedly tried to rob the donut shop around one twenty a.m. on Friday, demanding tens and twenties and some donuts. Uh, the employee told officers with the Gainesville Police Department. Uh, she was shocked and didn't respond, and then the robber repeated the same demand. The clerk summoned another employee, and the robber made the same demands again police department said uh the two clerks then called for their male colleague <laughs> they're just bringing the host can you believe this guy <laughs> the, the two clerks uh, then called for their male cl- colleague who was in the back of the donut shop don't know what he was doing back there uh when Wright made his demands when the male clerk arrived he told uh Wright to leave and Wright left <laughs> but uh, but was right found left. by right left but was found by police walking south of the Krispy Kreme and was arrested shortly after for apparently attempted donut robbery. Did I have like a, a weapon or something to make it? He just kind of went in there. Yeah, so give me like, money and donuts. And they and said, they- hold on. What did you say? <laughs> give me money and donuts. Hey, come here. Listen to this. And then, then they called the other guy in. And he said, get out. And he's like, all right. Guess I won't have any money and donuts. Yeah, like, and then he left. So I tried. It was just a misunderstanding. I don't know how he, why he got arrested for that. It sounds like it to me. You know, maybe he was just asking for change. He handed him a hundred and said, "Give me tens and twenties and all your donuts." And they had him arrested yeah, for that. That's, yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah, it's a really Poor guy, very adventurous guy to try to rob a donut shop of all places. <laughs> there probably is like a cop at least every hour. Yeah, well, it's one o'clock in the morning though, right? It, well, yeah, one twenty in the morning. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. But well, because that's the best time to rob a yeah, donut shop. Exactly. The, well, that's probably donuts around shift change. Yeah, and, 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 the, and the donuts are fresh. <laughs> the light was on. I actually, uh, my aunt worked, used to work, you, this is back in like the 60s, she worked at a uh, Baskin Robbins, and somebody came in to rob her, and this, she didn't know what to do, and she asked if he wanted ice cream. <laughs> and he laughed, and he left the store without the money. So <laughs> well, well. It's like it just confused him so much. It's like, it can't be that hard, I he guess. He must have been lactose intolerant. That's yeah, what that's what it was. Problem. No, forget it. Yeah. And then he yeah. left. Don't force your ice cream on me. <laughs> yeah, he, he knew this. <laughs> or he was diabetic. Yeah. Could have been diabetic, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's if you're lactose intolerant or diabetic, don't rob, rob an ice cream parlor or a donut shop. Either way, that would be. Yeah, yeah, that would be right. <clears throat> a Tennessee man decided he found a better use for a biscuit when he decided to lunge it at his former girlfriend, uh, Jeffrey Tomerlin, 45, another 45 year old guy. Everybody's in the, everybody that's doing stupid stuff in the news right now is in their mid forties. That's, old. that's a trend yeah, going yeah, on right yeah. now. I'm, I, 
I'm a couple years away from 45. I look forward to this. It's that midlife crisis. <laughs> yeah, I, was gonna say, <laughs> that, I, I don't know when the yeah. midlife crisis starts, but it, not, well, it's different not, for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to mine. I wait to hear it. I'm, I'm about ready to hit it. When here you get to Christ, yeah. so you're like, okay, you're at the I'm end halfway of life. there. <laughs> <laughs> You started acting. That's what. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. your crisis. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Jeffrey Tomerlin, 45, was arrested Monday after he allegedly threw a biscuit, quote, really hard at his ex-girlfriend's face. Uh, Tomerlin flew into a rage Sunday night when he spotted his former fling and her new boyfriend in a car in South Nashville. He reportedly charged at the vehicle and began punching the hood of the car and telling people he would kill them. He also yelled racial slurs because he's a nice guy. Uh, police, <laughs> police arrived at the scene where Tomerlin continued to bang his head while sitting inside the police cruiser. He was taken to the hospital before being booked into jail on charges of public intoxication, vandalism, and assault. Assault. I don't know where that that stuff comes from. You have from. a list. Yes. Assault. That's better. He's being held on $3,100 bond. It's unclear the extent of the unidentified woman's uh, injuries from a biscuit from a biscuit <laughs> it's, it's tennessee if you're gonna get hit with a biscuit that's the best place to do it because they make good biscuits one in pan in biscuits, tennessee. absolutely yeah yeah i remember when i was a kid my grandmother down in tennessee we went she lost her biscuit cutter lost her biscuit cutter and rather than improvise we had a biscuit that was a foot and a half a diameter that was the one biscuit for the whole table. She lost. <laughs> it's like, well, can't you just take like a knife? Biscuit? Or, yeah, it was a community biscuit. <laughs> so if it was a foot and a half diameter biscuit, I can see that doing some damage. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's one of them Tennessee biscuits. You, you don't want to get hit by them. <laughs> yeah, that might cause a concussion at that point. Yeah, I, I like that they that that's what they focused on on that story is the biscuit, not the fact that he 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 punched the car and, and made threatened death to kill people. And, yeah, yeah, you know, those screamed obscenities and racial slurs. It's the biscuit that did the damage. The yes, that was because that's the best place to start a, start a story off like that. Just, sure, it gets you intrigued. Right, the like rest of it, biscuit. The rest of it's so <laughs> heard of. They're like eh, racial yeah. slurs. The rest of it is just, cards. That's you know business day. as usual in right. Tennessee. Yeah. Right. So. So is, I would think in Tennessee, throwing a biscuit at your ex is kind of like yeah. a rite of passage. Yeah, that can't be too That's, far off of normal. Who, I, I who hasn't only, thrown yeah. baked goods at, at former loved ones? Right. <laughs> that's, right. That's, that's, a, that's a Tennessee, that's state law, man. That's a Tennessee state law is when you, uh, that's actually a parting gift is to throw a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like at least 12 cookies for a divorce. Yep. yep. If I can't have you, then... I can't have this biscuit. <laughs> Nobody will eat this biscuit if I can't. No have more you. carbs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. He says, see, I'm behaving. And just tossed his biscuits. <laughs> when, <laughs> when your woman leaves you, sometimes you just have to toss your biscuit. That's <laughs> uh, we got time for one more. Oh, goody. And it's a story about cocaine, so maybe we'll have time for a whole lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, cocaine with a street value of about uh, 235,000 pounds, because this is a British story. Uh, that's a, that's a lot of cocaine. 235,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah, ha has been found hidden inside fresh pineapples by Spanish police. Uh, yeah, the 148-pound uh, the haul, 148 pounds of cocaine. That's a lot of cocaine for a, for a, a pineapple. Uh, was hauled uh, was seized in Madrid's main wholesale fruit and vegetable market, probably because of the shipping accident. It ended up in the wrong place. Uh, cylinders of the narcotic were neatly slotted into the hollowed out fruit skin and covered in yellow wax that looked like pineapple flesh. Pineapple. That's, did you flesh. see that on the news? They That's a whole a, they, new take on Pineapple Express. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they showed these guys taking these pineapples and throwing them on the ground and busting them up. Man, I'm thinking, how'd they get that in there? Like, I know they hollowed out the pineapple. Wax. But how, that, how'd right? they get it in there without cutting into the pineapple? That's what. They're very creative. Phew, no doubt. Yeah. Man. It's that, yeah, like that, that Cheech cool. and Chong movie where they had the entire car made out of pot. Yeah, yeah, fiber oh, weed. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> up in smoke. That was their best movie. Right. By far. That was well that was their first, right? No, no, no. I don't believe that was their first. Oh. 
I don't know. I, I have to look back. Potheads at, making a million dollars off of smoking yeah. weed and being high in the 70s. Yeah, Gosh. absolutely. God, Why what not? a time to be alive. Why, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's, Why uh, didn't I think of that? Right? Everybody should. should I mean, I wasn't that. born for another 20 years, but I would have loved it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we can look back now and laugh. <laughs> and smoke pot. And sp- <laughs> <laughs> well, not in the studio. No, 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 no. Like not on a share. I can't believe you kids still do that. Yep, kids. All right. Well, uh, we're going we're gonna to get there. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get ready to wrap this half hour up. Uh, Butch, you're sticking around. I'm sticking because around. Because you're guest co host. Oh, no, boy. That so you're means not a going, lot. You're not going anywhere. All right. What so. if I got to pee? Surely you're wearing a Depends. Yeah, it's got a hole in it. I just found out on the way over here. Oh. So you're wearing a saggy diaper that leaks. It's an undepends. Yeah, yeah, undepends. It's an, yeah, it's a very undepends. Yeah. yeah, but it has pretty flowers on it. They are pretty. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. As long as it's got pretty flowers on. Are they <laughs> yellow or not yet? No, pink. <laughs> Moving on. When they change uh, colors, that's how you know it's time to change them. Right. <laughs> that's what that yeah. means. Okay. <laughs> well, they should be blue, and then they would turn green. Yeah. Christian Kretzer. Yes. Hey, he got it. Oh, man. <laughs> Told you I'd do right. it, Butch. Yes. Yeah, the show's what, over. He got it. What's yeah, your name again? <laughs> <laughs> Christian Kretzer, thanks for coming in. Yes, thank uh, you for having w- me. What shows you got coming up? You said you might be uh, at Wiley's this yes, Sunday. Sunday again? I am. I, I messaged Karen. I will be there Sunday at Wiley's. Now, you, you messaged her and told her you'd be well, there? Well, no, no, I wasn't like. Let, let me know tell Wiley's you when I'm uh, performing. Can't wait to uh, see. see well, well, no, so. Uh, because we've had that happen. We've had no, people randomly show up and told her they were on the show. And I sent the they request don't get on out. The show. Uh, Karen two doesn't weeks take ago. time. Did she get back? No. <laughs> yeah, so she met, emailed me back. There and, you go. Uh, and then she said, hey, it's still open. And then I messaged her back the next day and said, is it still open? But then it resent me that, uh, what's it called, email to make right, sign up. Yeah. So I was, did my email get to her or did it? So I messed her on Facebook and just asked, hey, did my email get there? She said, oh, yeah, sorry. And then said, yeah. Sunday, okay, you're on. Okay. He's on so Sunday. you are on. You're on, I'm on Sunday. Sunday. That's, that's Wiley Sunday yeah, comic. Yeah, Sunday. I will be starts there. at eight o'clock. Yes. Best entertainment value in town. It's only five bucks. Five well, bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great bucks. Sunday five night. Bucks. It's like it's a good Sunday night. Oh, yeah. fun. Absolutely. Always fun. Absolutely. And the best the best part about it, if if you're there and one of the comics sucks, they're over in five minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's it's not so terrible. Yeah. Laugh at them being terrible and, and wait for somebody funny to show up. Yep. Like Christian Kretzer. Right. Hopefully. Yeah, they got Hopefully. it twice. They're stuck in there what? now. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Titus, Titus Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> I know. I'm just... Titus Wayne. What, do you have anything coming up? Actually, anything yes. exciting? Uh, September 16th at the Wiley Sunday Comics, I will be hosting. Awesome. Uh, okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pretty excited about that. Um, have you hosted there before? On the- I, I did uh, very early on. I think it was maybe six months into when I started doing comedy. I hosted uh, Nate Washington put me on. Um, but I'm back again to right. host, and I'm excited. And everybody should come out on the 16th. Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming in. It was good, good having both of you. We're going to go ahead and take our uh, top-of-the-hour mandated break. Cool. Here at, uh, at the live radio show. And I, I keep forgetting to mention that. That this is actually the Wiley's Comedy Studios now. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, they, yeah. They, our on-air studio at WWSU has been renamed. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And here's the here's the fun thing: is once they make it official, we're going to sue them because that's <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just you, kidding. you can't <laughs> use our name for the show that we're yeah, on. That's, that's my. That's our show, man. That's our name. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a break. Uh, we're going to be back with uh, who, who's coming in next. Uh, Ray Jackson should be in and uh, Jeffrey Daniel. Should be in. Really? It's Jeff, Ray it's Jeff first Jackson. Time, it's Jeff's first time on the show, and, and Ray hasn't been in in a little while. So, All right. We're going to take a break as soon as I find the button up here, and we'll be back here shortly. Stick around. Thanks for listening to the Life Radio Show podcast. Check us out on Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network or wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, if you want to listen live, we're on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM with a repeat broadcast on Wednesdays from noon to 2, or you can always stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. 
If you have suggestions or comments, feel free to email the life1069 at gmail.com. How's your how's your internet porn search going? Oh, it's going pretty well.